Howdy y'all, my name is Price and welcome to The House of Da Vinci 2. I played the original House of Da Vinci a couple years back and uh, y'all have requested this from me a couple of times. I bought this game when it came out years ago <laughs> and just never got around to playing it. I just had other things I was doing. Um, I think I took like a little break right around right after I finished the last one. So I never really got around to doing it. So here I am. I'm going to play through um, at least a little bit of the House of Da Vinci 2. And then in a couple of weeks, there will be a poll up uh, of a lot of the current series that we got going on. And I'm going to have y'all vote on which ones y'all want to keep around. So we'll see if we finish it all the way through, but we'll at least do like four to six episodes. Um, check out this guy over here looking like Altair from Assassin's Creed. Uh, all right, let's just jump into it, y'all. Here we go. House of Da Vinci 2. I'm excited. I love these kind of escape roomy, puzzly games. Ooh, Forenze. I feel like you go there in uh, in Assassin's Creed. Uh, all right, Castello Estense. I'm assuming Ferrara, 1495. Okay. Do 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 do. Or 1495? Is that what I said? I might have said 1492, just because like you know, gets stuck in your head. All right. We're in some sort of prison, it looks like. Ooh, this reminds me of that dungeon game. Can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. That was a fun one. Okay, hold down left mouse button and drag to look around. Okay. Oh. Hello there. Hmm, no words. Oh, maybe he's helping me out a little bit. Left click on the tube to pick it up. Okay. Uh, left click anywhere on the screen to continue. Click the tube in the inventory. Okay, it's going to teach me how to, yeah, mess with it. We've done stuff like this, playing the room. All the room games and the previous one of these games. Click on the letter. Read the following lines carefully because this letter is your path to freedom. Only on the other sides of these walls can your name be cleared. We arrange that the guard won't be watching the area surrounding your cell for the time being. You should know that you won't get this chance again. Do not worry. We are on your side. You will find your way out at the end of this letter. Ha, <laughs> get it. Uh, unwind the key from the ribbon. Oh, okay. Got it. Give me that. Okay. Neat. Uh, click the back button. Okay. Here we go. To zoom in, click on the double door. I'm just looking at all these symbols. Look at all this stuff we painted on the walls. Oh, accidentally clicked out of the game. Uh, we got Vitruvian Man. We got however many days we've been in here. Let's see, each of these is five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-seven. There, I think. So twenty-seven times five. Uh, or no, 20, 22 times 5 plus 2. Um, okay. Let's double click on the door. Come on. All right, here we go. Move the key from the inventory to the rivet. Oh, 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 gotta do it like, like this. Drag to here. Oh, it's one of those! I didn't even think about that. Okay. I gotta pay more attention. I didn't even pay attention to that bit. Okay. Oh, gotta turn the key. Come on. Oh, left. There we go. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, all right, open the door. Do, do, do. Come on. All right, what do we got over here? Okay, I see that. Got like a little flower floret looking thing. Let's back up. All right, right click to back up. Good to know. Um, what's this guy? Aha, that fits the floret. Curiously shaped screw. Okay, and that's where I came from. Okay. Uh, gotta click. Okay, well, we'll do that. Okay. Woo, what is this? What are you? Come on, let me look around it. What can I click on? Anything? Oh! There we go. I was trying to figure out which pieces I could actually grab. Come on, eh. Can I do this? Oh, okay, what is that? 
part of a torture device has a second part you need to find to complete it. Okay. Screw on the second part of the tool. Oh, that is the other part. Okay. Uh, let's tighten it. Oh, gotcha. Completed item torture device. Jeez Louise. That's messed up. Why do I need a torture device? I do not want to torture somebody. Okay. Can I... Oh, I see. I think I see. I think I'm going to need to do this. Come on. Like that. Then use that to put through it. Oh, wait. Hold on. There we go. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. Um, and go back over here. And then we winch it up. And now... Oh! It broke! Oh, no. Something broke in the hinge of the lever. Oh, no. Now I need a screw of some sort. Okay. Hmm. Or a spoon, maybe? I remember seeing the spoon on the ground. Aha! I'm glad that I remembered that, that I saw it on the floor. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay, we'll do that. And there we go. Figured it out. Okay. Uh, this way. Okay, cool. Let's go down here. Nice! First set of puzzles solved. Alright, what we got here? Actually, always spin around, look around. Okay, there's nothing. We can't look behind us. Okay. You always want to get a good view of everything, you know? Alright, what's happening here? It's going to fall down. Yeah, there we go. What we got going on? This is like Skyrim, y'all. Escaping out of the prison. Or not Skyrim, this is like Oblivion. Um, okay, we got a bridge that looks like it might fall. We got a, uh, a sconce. Got a grate over there. Uh, we got a whole bunch of holes up here to think about. We got those guys. I think that's going to take me over here, yeah. This bridge looks like it wants to break. Um, okay. Can't... Oh, there we go. Okay, oh. There we go. Let's get through here. Okay, what else we got? Oh! We need to maybe heat that up. What's down here? There's like a... Something over there. Okay. Well, let's move a little bit forward. Let's see what we got. What are you? Okay, this is our first, like, real puzzle thing. We're gonna have to figure out what the uh, solution to that is, I'm guessing. Let's, um... Look around at what else we got in here first. Okay, that is... Uh, frozen. So, I don't think I can go out this way yet. So, let's see... Oh, maybe it's like this. Somehow. Oh, or maybe it's just as simple as this. Yeah. Okay. Got this guy. Item found. Gold and silver plated object. Okay, and what are you about? Oh. Ah, I see. You and you. Dun 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 dun. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a note. Chicomo, you might find the events awaiting you strange and unfathomable. Accept, uh, accept them as they are. You will understand everything later when we meet. You must trust me. It is time to turn the wheel of time and change not only your own destiny. In the box in front of you is a device that will allow you to peer into the past and through your feats. There you will influence the present. Use it with deliberation. Giacomo, you do not know me yet, but I have known you for a long time. I'm here, and I will help you. A friend. Oh, whoops. Okay. Oh, okay. Burnished brass cone. That looks like it fits right there. All right. Aha! All right, so now we want to align... Oh, boy. The 
uh, constellations. Got to find one that fits with that, I feel like. There was one that really fit this middle bit, but maybe I have to go like this. Okay, I see. So that has to go there. Let's find the one that fits up here first. Could be that. No, no, no. It's not that one. Can I get a better view of this? The, the shine on this, the glare, is making it really difficult. Come on. Not that one. Could be that one. Could be that. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. So then, where was the space that that one goes? Is it all the way over here? Like that. No, no, no. That's not the chandelier. Where's the chandelier piece? There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. So the bottom was already aligned. I didn't realize the bottom was already aligned. Whoa. What's with this orb? I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed, and this reminds me of, like, the Isu stuff. If any of y'all have played Assassin's Creed. Is that going to give me the power of fire? Activate the Oculus P Pachula? I didn't see what it said. Oh, okay. Okay. Through the Oculus Perpetua, you can see a portal that we take you to the past. Get closer. Oh. Oh, y'all, this is good. This is a next level. Left click anywhere on the screen to continue. Hold down left mouse button in the middle of the portal until it draws you into the past. Oh, wow. I think I want to bring the torch with me, maybe. Yeah, because I can't get the head from in there yet. But maybe I can travel back through into the present with this torch from the past. That's my guess. I can see that time isn't flowing in the past and that the bridge under the gargoyle isn't broken. I could use this somehow. Okay. I'm going to go this way. I really want to see if I can grab a torch. All right, well, let's turn that. What does that do, even? Whoa! It repaired the bridge? Why? Why did that fix it? Because the switch was never pressed, maybe? Unbelievable. Stopping the water from flowing has saved this problem. Okay, it turned off the water, so it never happened. The portal is closed, so I should continue in the present. Okay. Cool. Well, let's go grab this and grab that. Creepy mask. Stone head. Okay, got it. Wait. Can I really not? There was a thing over there, right? That. Is that not a thing? I guess not. It really won't let me look over there. Okay. Um, so we got the stone head. Let's back up a little bit. Where does the stone head go? Maybe in here? I mean, there's only so many places I can go. Oh, I can go back in here now. Okay. Let's go check over here to see if there's anything that we need to do in here. Could go in there, maybe. Let's, let's try it. Because that looks a little... No? Okay. Hmm... And I can't go to the past anymore. Where is it that I need... I'm trying to, like, just back up even further, you know? But I think this is as far as I can go. Yeah, because that's closed. That's closed. Okay, let's look at the mask. Or the stone head, rather. Oh, okay. So it's got that kind of a symbol, and it's got a jaw... Or not a symbol, but a, a shape. Looks like it'll open once I find what it fits in. Do I need to use this again? 1495. I can't click anything to make it go to a different thing. What's that? That's a hint? I don't want to hit it just yet. So I, I'm using this Oculus thing. Ah, here we go. There we go. Turn this thing off. All right, what do we got? Open that. Aha! I just wasn't looking to my left. Okay, uh, we've got a dark, spooky hallway, and then a hallway where we can see. And let's look at the ground, just to make sure there's not, like, any little things that we need to pick up. Always look around for things. Can you show me the dark? You do not show me the dark. You just show me the past. Okay. Ooh, 
spooky. It really does remind me of Morrowind when you're escaping the prison at the beginning and then you're in the sewers. Okay. Did I say Morrowind? Oblivion. Oh, there's the guard that I'm... He, he happens to not be looking. There he goes. No, come on. Pass on by. This ain't thief. This ain't Assassin's Creed. Okay. There's a door over there. Just want to see if there's anywhere else I can go. Not over there. Not over there. Oh, what's that? Okay. Okay. I feel like that's the first chapter, probably. Oh, what's up, Thief? Thief three shadows, something or another? Ah. Are you Leonardo? Or are you Giacomo? successfully, and that you knew how to use it in the best possible way. Oh, wow. Not Full story stuff. Which is, as you will soon see, a good thing for you. Okay. Maybe I need to hit click left. I'm sure you're okay. asking yourself the obvious question of why the mysterious man before you has even helped you to your freedom. Well, above all... I do not pay heed to the unlikely tales of witchcraft and occultism those blind fanatics accused you of. If they had their way, we would all be flung several centuries into the past. However, I do believe in the power of knowledge. I like to support able and well-educated people. You, of course, counted among them, Giacomo. I know your work and your skills, and I can find a good use for them. Okay. But I am, as you are surely beginning to understand, an extremely powerful man. As easily as I was able to get you out of that prison, I can put you back with just a... Okay, well, let's not... Let's, 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 let's calm down with the threats, you know? It's your choice. You want my help? Maybe... My offer. Maybe don't be so negative. You choose to return to your foul-smelling cell in Castello Estense. Wow. Which would, of course, be unexpected. Or decide to enter my service instead. In which case you could finally make full use of your exceptional skills. Hmm. But Oh, but let's return to my principal issue. As I stated, I'm currently supporting a number of artists and inventors, all of whom work for me with gratitude. But one of the greatest minds of our time still eludes me. I'm certain you already know of him. Messere Leonardo da Vinci. He is currently staying in Milan, seeking assistance for his scientific work. Every candidate for this post must first complete a complex test to show that he can be beneficial to the master's research. Hmm. No one has proven successful so far, but you, Giacomo, could be the right one. It will be in your own best interests, if you understand my meaning. You will complete Leonardo's test, enter his services, and while keeping up appearances, you will secretly inform me of his every move. You will also ensure that in the end, the only employer of Leonardo da Vinci will be me, Cesare Borgia. Ah, gotcha. Take this note. The Borgia. You will secretly record every detail of your investigation in it. You will report to me and keep me informed. Okay. Move closer to the notebook to pick it up. All right. Just mess him up right now. Because I feel like he's going to betray us. Uh, Castello Estense Ferrara. To zoom in, double click, right click to zoom out, hold down the left mouse button and drag to turn the page. Today I was plucked from loneliness. Click the back. Okay, my journey continues in the sewers under Castello Estense. Um, okay. You will find Master Leonardo in the church of Santa Maria della Grazia, where he addresses himself to some grandiose painting. One of my reliable people will take you to Milan. You should be on your way. And Giacomo, do not fail me. Hey, this guy. Okay. There is one more thing. Oh, of course. As a soldier, I am accustomed to almost any hardship. But Messere Leonardo is, after all, a man of considerable delicacy and refinement. Before you meet him, you should not forgo a thorough bath and change of clothing. Hmm. <laughs> Saying I'm dirty? I mean, we did see the state of my hands. That's pretty gross. 
Castello Estense. Ferrara. We finished that one, so now we're heading to Milan. Milano. Okay. Santa Maria della Grazia, Milan. Okay, got it. By the way, if I pronounce anything wrong, I am sorry. 